Welcome back to The Busy Baker. Today on the channel, we are making these absolutely gorgeous gingerbread cookies. They're one of our favorite holiday cookie recipes to make, and we know that you're gonna love them too. They are so festive. First, we start with two thirds of a cup of unsalted butter in the bowl of a stand mixer. You could also use a hand mixer for this. And we're gonna add two thirds of a cup of granulated sugar to this. And we'll add in our spices right away. Two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of ginger, half teaspoon of cloves, half teaspoon of nutmeg, and one teaspoon of vanilla. It may seem a little bit unconventional to do it this way. Usually spices are added in with the flour and the other dry ingredients. But in this case, the large crystals of the sugar mixing together with the spices cause the spices to release their oils as it mixes, therefore creating a lot more flavor. Next, add the molasses. Half a cup of dark molasses is what colors this recipe, and it also adds a lot of texture and sweetness. Mixing that in well, and then adding one egg to the mixture as well, and mix that in just until incorporated. Be sure to mix well on medium high speed to make sure that the dough is smooth, but avoid over mixing as this can cause the dough to crack as it bakes. Next, we're going to add two and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, a whole teaspoon of salt. And you'll notice that we switched to the dough hook here. That's because this is a very stiff dough because it's good for rolling out. So we want to make sure that we don't over mix the dough and the dough hook helps us do that. Once all the dry ingredients are incorporated, you're gonna to wanna to add some flour to your work surface and turn the dough out onto your work surface, forming it into a small rectangle and wrapping it in plastic wrap and placing it in the fridge for about two hours. Chilling this dough is a very important step. It's not one we enjoy doing either, but it's very important to make sure that the dough is tough enough and stiff enough that it can be rolled out and you can cut those gorgeous gingerbread men shape out of it. One thing that we like to do is to make the dough the day ahead of when you're going to roll it and it can just sit in the fridge overnight completely. Just be sure to let it relax a little bit the next day before taking it out of the fridge and rolling it out. Roll your dough out into a sheet that's about a quarter inch thick. We like to roll it on one side when it's very thick, flip it over, roll it again, and create as large of a sheet as you can that is about one quarter of an inch thick. Be sure to dust your work surface very well with flour, and you can add some flour to your rolling pin as well if it's helpful. Then use your favorite cookie cutters and cut out whatever shapes you like. We like to cut out gingerbread men, Christmas trees, stars, and some snowflakes. Place the cookies that you've cut out onto your baking sheet and place your baking sheet in the fridge for about 15 minutes. This will help the dough to firm up a little bit before it bakes and help them to bake evenly. Then you can add your baking sheet straight to the oven when they're ready to bake. And you can bake these cookies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about eight minutes or so. And while the cookies are baking, make the royal icing by whipping together one egg white and one eighth of a teaspoon of salt until it's nice and thick and foamy. Next, add one and one quarter cups of powdered sugar. We like adding it just a little bit at a time. That way it mixes together well and you can make sure that everything is incorporated. And we like to add a little bit of vanilla to our royal icing as well for flavor. And because egg whites are not all exactly the same size, you may need to add a little bit more or a little bit less powdered sugar to achieve that pipeable texture that's just a little bit liquidy. And feel free to decorate your gingerbread cookies however you like. You can feel free to check out our website where we have a lot of photos of gingerbread cookies we've decorated, so you can feel free to replicate those or just decorate however you like. These gingerbread cookies are so perfectly festive. They have a very strong ginger flavor. They're nice and crispy, crunchy, just like gingerbread should be, and they look so festive. They are the perfect addition to any holiday baking tray. And as always, the full written recipe is in the description below, or you can check out our website where we have all the baking tips you'll need for this holiday season. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel for more delicious recipes and check out more videos. Happy holidays, everybody.